This is piping. And again, it comes already pre-made. And it's like bias binding, but what it is, is bias binding with a piece of, a small piece of rope, really, uh, sewn inside. So it creates this, um, this effect. The video you're about to watch is a preview from one of my fashion design courses available on Fashion Premier Academy. Click the link below. Roll it! So imagine, for example, this uh, V-neck. If you wanted to use this piping or bias tape in the neckline, it would look like that. You see? It's kind of cool. So basically what this tape does it ac accentuates the neckline and it's very easy to sew if this is the outside of the garment for example and so let's say this is the outside and this is the facing okay this piping this bias tape is sandwiched in between the self the body and the facing how do we do that so here we go so if this let's say this is the right side of the fabric you put the right sides together and this tape this bias tape is sandwiched in between the facing and the body, the self. And with one stitch, right, with one stitch, you can sew all three pieces together. The facing, the tape, and the body all in one shot. So imagine the neckline with this uh, accent, whether it's, whether it's uh, red or black. It's pretty cool in black. All different colors, right? And by the way, this particular tape can also be used, let's say you were doing a princess line, a princess seam, right? Wouldn't that be cool to, have, to use it as an accent uh, in sandwiched in between uh, a seam, like a princess line, for example. So just keep that in mind for future reference. And going back to our original yoke design, if you wanted to insert this bias piping in between the yoke and the body, you can do that as well as the neckline. So you can play around, have fun with it. Okay, so we've covered facings and bias binding and bias tape piping to clean finish the edge of necklines, right? So let's move on. <laughs>